I'd like to share some of the enhancements that are new to SurfCam 2014 R1. These enhancements include a simplified one button updating from SurfCam 6, a new support assistant, new layers control, improved masking, multi selectability in Operations Manager, a new keyless licensing option, updated CAD translators, a new adaptive rough toolpath, chaining undo, improved impulse template features, and a new part modeler CAD system that is available. Using the flyout menu on the left side of your screen, you may skip to any portion of the video or enjoy a brief summary of each of the features. Install Shield. Let's start with the one button updating from SurfCam 6. Updating from SurfCam 6 to SurfCam 2014 R1 is easier than ever. When installing SurfCam 2014 R1, just select the Please Bring Forward Customize Files button. Your customized data will be utilized in the latest version of SurfCam. The Support Assistant. A new feature of SurfCam 2014 R1 is the Support Assistant. From the main menu, select Help Support Assistant. A dialog appears that allows you to quickly and easily summarize your system status. Critical data can be summarized for you, such as available system memory, graphics card memory, graphics card driver information, and post-processor information. To use the support assistant, select the system information items as desired and select get data. You'll see a progress bar that will appear and the elected information is gathered, then compressed, and placed on your desktop for easy reference. Layers. Additional control has been provided over layers. Have you ever made a change in the SurfCam Layers dialog and wanted to see the changes without closing the dialog? Well, now you can. Let's open the Layers dialog and notice the Apply button. In this case, if we want to quickly isolate the part surfaces from the stock and the wireframe, just toggle the layers to be invisible, select Apply, and the visibility changes are shown immediately. Any further visibility changes can be seen at the user's discretion. Masking. Masking has been greatly enhanced in SurfCam 2014 R1. Features such as a single toggle on or off, the ability to name masks, and save name masks for future use, a tooltip that quickly identified which mask is currently in use, and improved graphical display with the inverted mask feature. Now, the first time that you select masking, you'll be presented with the masking dialog. Now, if we want to mask for a certain color, deselect all the colors and use the color selection tool on our model. New for SurfCam 2014 R1 is the ability to name the mask. In this case, let's call it All Green Elements. Then we can save the mask. Now let's go and select the Mask 2 tab, and let's deselect the colors and use the Color Selection tool on our model. This time, let's select only Lines and Arcs. Well, once again, let's create a name for our mask and then save it. Another method to make masking easier is to modify a saved mask. Now let's select mask number three, or the mask three tab. Let's select the open icon and select an existing mask. Notice here that if an existing mask is no longer needed or wanted, you can highlight the mask use your right mouse button, and then select Delete. So let's select our All Green Elements mask and choose Open. Let's select Invert Colors, then change the name of our mask. 
Now that we have three masks available, here's an easy way to access them. If we hover our mouse over the masking icon, a tooltip appears with the name of the current mask. Selecting the drop-down arrow displays each of our named mask, and a check mark clearly indicates the current mask in use. Masking is also available on the right mouse button menu, showing the names of each of the available masks. Masking now is a simple on or off, allowing you to get your work done quickly and easily. Multi-select in the Operations Manager. Have you ever had a long list of tool paths and you only wanted to verify just a few of them? SurfCam 2014 R1 added the ability to multi-select. Let's bring up the Operations Manager and show you how. We'll place our mouse on the top toolpath icon, hold down the Shift key, then select the bottom toolpath icon of the group we want to select. Then we right mouse button. We're presented with the options to either check, uncheck, or delete the selected toolpaths. After the selection is made, to cancel the selection, select any toolpath icon. If you intend to select a different combination, such as every other toolpath, Hold down the control key and select each of the desired icons. Multi-select is just one way to make things just a little easier in SurfCam 2014 R1. Licensing. A new keyless licensing option is available for SurfCam 2014 R1. Many customers will prefer the security and convenience of SurfCam without having to worry about losing or damaging their SIM. If you'd like to obtain a keyless license or learn more details, please contact your SurfCam account representative. They'll be glad to assist. Updated CAD translators. All of the many CAD translators that SurfCam users rely on have been updated to the latest versions. New is the inclusion of the Step Translator as a standard translator rather than an optional translator. New for SurfCam 2014 R1 are the updated translator interfaces. These new interfaces offer dynamic help to assist you in selecting the translation options that are best suited for your needs. Importing DXF and DWG files are even easier with the improved interface and translator modules. In addition to the ability to create both 2D and 3D model translations, there's now an option to create PDF files and log files. Adaptive Rough. There's a new toolpath in SurfCam 2014 called Adaptive Rough. Well, let's go over a few of the advantages. Let's go to NC, 3-axis, Adaptive Rough. And we'll select all of the surfaces, and we'll say that we're done. Then choose a bottom profile, and let's select 3 inches. We'll choose our chain at the bottom of the part, and once again, we'll say that we're done. We'll go and select our tool. Now, let's go to our Cut Control tab. What makes Adaptive Rough unique is its ability to not only cut roughing steps, but its ability to quickly and efficiently reduce those major steps to a chosen step reduction value. Let's create the toolpath. Notice how the toolpath adapts to multiple heights. Running backplot will highlight the tool motion for us. Let's go ahead and turn on the tool holder. So after it completes the first level, it starts from the bottom up with step reduction. Then it goes down to the next major level and repeats the process. 
Adaptive Rough has an efficient algorithm that determines when excess material should be removed, as we see here. Let's switch over to Verify and get another view of the toolpath. Once again, a major step, then step reduction from the bottom up. And we can see the resulting even roughing pattern. Well, let's go back to our Operations Manager. Notice on the Cut Control tab, we have freedom to choose independent stock values for X and Y and Z. Adaptive Rough also has the ability to control the stepover values between optimal and maximum. There's even control over the minimum adaptive step down. So take advantage of the new Adaptive Rough toolpath in SurfCam 2014 R1. Chain Undo One very popular request for SurfCam was the ability to have Chain Undo. Well, we're pleased to announce that Chain Undo is now available in SurfCam 2014 R1. There are two different aspects of Chaining Undo. First, the ability to undo a completed chain that has unintended results. Have you ever been selecting multiple pockets with multiple chains and then chained a wrong pocket? In previous versions, you had to start over. In SurfCam 2014 R1, you simply select Undo and the completed chain is removed. You have the ability to proceed without having to start over. Let's take a look at another chaining enhancement, multiple chain section undo. We'll highlight where we intend the chaining to go. As we start the chain, all is well until we make a couple of unintended mouse clicks and end up off course. Well, that's no problem for SurfCam 2014 R1. We can undo as many or as few chaining sections as we desire. Then we can proceed with our intended chain. So finally, here is our intended toolpath. Impost templates. Many of the standard impost templates of SurfCam have been updated. The minarc and minrad commands have been added into the impost templates, allowing users to easily modify settings, make small arc to line conversions, even easier. The arc to line warning command is now present in impost templates, allowing users to easily set this to either on or off. Also, a rapid code safety clearance sequence is now available in impost templates, forcing the tool to retract in Z prior to any XY motion for a rapid sequence. Part Modeler. Another new option for SurfCam 2014 R1 is the ability of Part Modeler. Now, Part Modeler is a CAD tool that's specifically designed for a quick construction and modification of solid models with fully associative drafting capabilities. SurfCam 2014 R1 imports Part Modeler native format .pmod files directly. One impressive feature included with Part Modeler is a long list of industry standard translators that include CATIA, CREO, and even Inventor files. SurfCam 2014 R1 has many other refinements and updates, including the latest update to the SPOST editor and some significant improvements to Edit NC. These improvements and other refinements are available in 15 languages.